Hello, welcome back to Open, everyone. In honor of Black History Month, the Boogie Down Grind will be displaying artwork related to the essence. Yeah, the purpose of the art show is to bring creatives of color from all backgrounds to showcase artwork that reflects their culture and community. And joining us to tell us more about the upcoming exhibition, Essence, please welcome art curator and mixed media artist, Yoleni Gil, and social media director of the Boogie Down Grind, Angelica Castro. Hello and welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for being here, <laughs> OMG. Congratulations yes. to the Boogie Down Grind yes. on their expansion. What Thank a lovely you. space. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Because you've been picking it up since <laughs> yes. uh, the grand opening. You want to share a little bit about that before we go into the art exhibit? Yes, yeah, so we have a the, basically the reopen of the new cafe. Just moved to the corner down. It's dedicated to the South Bronx hip-hop theme. And, you know, we're a local business dedicated to that, our community and the power of social media. You know, we use it to invite our residents, the community, to really come and visit us and, you know, always buy back us. Yeah, no, I love it. And and also the social relevance, right? Yeah. And so, Yoleni, mm -hmm. uh, you have uh, an amazing, amazing eye. Um, and I noticed yeah. that, uh, you know, I, of course, you know, I visited your gallery and I was like, all right now, Oshum, okay. <laughs> River Reflections. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, well, it's lovely to see uh, the inspiration in, in your work and, and also the, the meaning behind it, right? And your background is you're half Dominican, half Haitian, yes, right? Yes, that's correct. And so, um, but you identify with being an Afro-Latina. I do. Of course I do because, you know, as you know, Hispanic heritage and also our culture tends to kind of side our blackness a lot and so for me growing up in Dominican Republic having to endure all racism from my nose to my hair to the way my body would look you know I tend to kind of put all of my energy into my artwork and into my vision as far as what I curate what I look for and I just want to kind of open up a space and a voice for our people to kind of feel comfortable and just have a good energy space to kind of put up their work and showcase what they're about. So I think we're looking at one of your pieces right now. Yes. That, and that, uh, the name of that piece is? That's actually Turning Point. So it's one of my pieces that I dedicated to Daeri Oshun. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like Ibei, which is her twins. And they represent a different side of personality. So one side is the good side, the other one's the jealous, crazy side. Right. So that's the representation of the awesome. artwork. Awesome. Thank you for giving sure. us the background <laughs> on it. And so, uh, in our, I guess now we're looking at Elegua. Mm -hmm. So Elegua is made with actually a straw basket from Dollar Tree. And I took a wood and just put a bunch of beads on it and pretty much just made a Camino, which is just a path. And I was at Crossroads, so... That's the name of the piece. That's lovely. That's lovely. So you use your work to kind of, um, as a form of therapy. And, right. And to uh, base, exercise your spirituality. Exactly. And just being uh, present to your moment. Yes. Right? I just I yeah. summed it all up. <laughs> well, I was really excited <laughs> looking at your artwork. I was so excited. <laughs> and so the, the artists that you've invited to be part of this curation, um, how, how did you select them? So I wanted to create something where it was mixed media in the sense of different types of techniques of art. So fine art, photography, um, paint on wood, things like that. So I kind of just selected them based on aesthetic as well as the actual statement of the artist. Because to me that's very important as an artist. You have to have kind of like a clear vision of what you want and also what you're representing. And so I went from there and we chose together the the pieces that were going to be up and so how many artists it. are being featured all together? Ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. that's big. Yes. It's that's a lot. Yes. Well, it's a lot more space <laughs> now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. So do you uh, can you list all the artists? Off the top of my head. Well, I'm, just, I know, I'm putting you on, yeah. on, on the spot. Well, if you, you all right. So just because I'm, I'm really interested in, in the variety within the uh, Afro diaspora, right. which is why yes. I, I was asking, right? Yes. Because if you're Dominican Haitian, I'm assuming mm -hmm. everybody comes from all different walks of life, yeah. but right. they have the, they they identify with their African ancestry. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. So that's um, you gave me uh, aesthetics. Now, mm -hmm. can you share something behind what what I guess helped 
her or you guys come together in deciding who's going to be there. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so or we, present it, I should say. Yes, yeah. the artwork. So we decided together, you know, since Black History Month, we wanted to dedicate something and have something more focused. We normally do just a solo artist of the month, so we wanted to step it up. Now there's a new cafe, do more curation, and we really wanted to showcase not just black art, but just all colors right. of black art. So all Which the Which is where essence comes from. Exactly. Because <laughs> okay. it's ultimately essence of culture, essence of self, essence of environment. So it's all the essences that create and make up us, in a sense. It's lovely. Yes. It's lovely. All right, so the ex ex exhibition is uh, officially uh, opening next week, right? Yes. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. We, I shouldn't say Well, it's on display now. It's on, it's display. on display now. Yeah. Oh, but you're having your opening reception. Yeah, the party's yes. going to be right, next Friday. So let's Friday. talk about the opening reception. So yes. opening reception will be on the 8th, and it'll be from 7 p.m. until 10 p.m. And we're looking to bring, bring as many people as you can, bring your friends, bring your family, and just come enjoy a good time with us. All right, so, and that time, the time is? 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. Hmm. All right. <laughs> the, the, no, I'm like, oh, it ends at 10? Okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, it'll probably go so, longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the art is going to be on display for the entire month. Yes, anyway, yes. So are you guys going to be rotating artists um, every month at the Boogie Down Grind? We yes. Are. All right, so this particular uh, exhibition ha is was uh, put up for the month of February, yes. the opening reception February 8th. Mm -hmm. It will be on display until the end of February, yes. and then um, we'll see, see what, 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 what the future holds. Yes. Exactly. But in the meantime, <laughs> we want everybody to come and to check out the new Boogie Down Grind. It's definitely an experience. Yes. Thank you for being here. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having Absolutely. us. Absolutely. All right, once again, you guys, the opening reception for Essence is taking place on February 8th from 7 to 10 p.m at the Boogie Down Grind Cafe, which is located at 868 Hunts Point Avenue. And uh, of course, that's in the Bronx. All right, we gotta take a quick break, but coming up, we'll talk relationships, dating, and Valentine's Day do's and don'ts you don't wanna miss. Don't go anywhere.